What's up, guys? Stan the man here. Got Big O down and uh, got it up on the uh, test stand here. Big O kind of suffered catastrophic failure last spring. I had some major wind shear, which uh, ripped the tail off, shoved it up into the blades, and uh, needless to say, it was all bad. But, you know, it was springtime, didn't want to mess with it. I just leaned it up against the house and waited till my round two got big enough to tinker with it. Well, it's winter time now. I got nothing to do but tinker cobble and uh, get her done in the evening, so I got her done. Made some modifications to Big O. Uh, I put my circuit into a box. That's my overload circuit. Got me a double pull, double throw relay on that bad boy. It's for my dump load. It's basically just uh, 9 to 12 volts uh, for some Christmas light bulbs. I got a, a kitty laying night light here, here, and there, and up front, and a couple in the back. I got those, they're, they're, those are 110 volts, I got kind of running through a transformer here. I don't go into a lot of details, you guys know that. You know, if, you got, if you're curious and got a question, you know, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll answer it on a video and you guys can kind of like get the low down on what's up with it. But, uh, that being said, I think it looks pretty cool, man. It's got some pop, definitely got some pop. I like how it works. If y'all like it, hit the like button. You know, what the hell. And, uh, well, I guess I'll grab the uh, cordless drill, spin everything up, get it blinking. Let y'all get a look at function. I think it's pretty cool. You know, I mean, it looks nice in the backyard, man. I mean, people drive by and they see it blinking, you know. And I'll sit on the front porch and watch people drive by slow and just point up at the thing it's it's pretty cool you know what the hell well where's my cordless drill at ah there it is hiding right over here plumb yonder again the table okay let's get her all hooked up get it situated and get it blanking all right spin it around here just a bit there we go get some slow rpms going there there we go. That's pretty slow RPMs. Those lights are 110 volt night lights. They're going through the transformer. Get a little more RPMs. A little more voltage. There we go. Got the Christmas lights blinking now. There we go. Got the little party ball of action here. It's all working pretty good. Now let's say we get some big wind happening, you know, so we need a dump load here, okay? So here's the big wind. There we go, there's a dump load. I activate the filter bulb. The filter bulb takes the power, slow the RPMs down on the uh, blade, and we're all good. All right, let's say, for instance, the wind slows down now. All right, wind slows down. All right, relay drops out. Christmas light bulbs start blinking again, and we're all good. Now the LEDs and stuff, the party bulb, all the 110 volt lights, they're hooked in in front of the relay. So the, uh, the juice will go through the transformer and to the bulbs before it gets to the relay. Which means when the relay activates, the 110 volt bulbs stay functional. It adds, an, it adds as an extra dump load for big wind, too. Works great, man. Get some more big wind. I like a big wind. What the hell? Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Look at that stuff. It's a rock. Hell yeah. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. Yeah, I was watching a bunch of other folks' videos and stuff, and uh, I thought I'd try my hand at making a, a, a wind turbine, dual axle flux, uh, high efficiency turbine, but I really didn't want to uh, 
invest in some of them big ducky magnets, 35 and 40 bucks a piece, so I got some of the smaller magnets so I could get on the learning curve as far as assembly and, and uh, process, you know, get my technique down. And, uh, well, I built two of them. But after you build them, what do you do with them? They're not really big enough on the power scale to generate any serious juice. But uh, for something like this, I mean, hey, they work great. It's a great yard decoration. Great conversation piece. Keeps the middle-aged divorced dad busy in the evening. Can't beat it. That's about all I got for right now. I'm about ready to take it out in the backyard and uh, put it out there on the post where Little Blue is right now. Little Blue's needing a little bit of love anyway, so I'm going to take it down, bring it in here, put it on the test stand, and do some tweaking and, and modification and make sure everything's copacetic with it. I mean, it seems to be operating fine in the backyard, but I'm going to. I need to pull it down so I can put Big O up there and see how it functions in the real world. And I've got nowhere else, you know, nothing else to do with a little blue except bring it back in here and put it on the test stand for a minute. Well, that's all I got, guys. You know, I mean, what the hell? Give me a thumbs up. You got a question? Ask a question. I'll do what I can to, you know, answer it in a video or something. You know, what the hell? Y'all have a great day. God bless. Keep on tankering, fellas.